Alright, next level. What is this level? Coffee shop. Alright, A. Ask if someone is using that chair, then sit with her. Cheeky. B. Stay standing and ask what she is reading. That's creepy. C. Ask her options of what to get as a present for your female friend. Sit down as you ask. Well, this one again. This one is like... Yeah. You used it a couple times. Accuse. Accuse her of pretending to read when she is hunting for mad. <laughs> Tell her you're reading that that book and that he died in the end. Oh. Spoiler. I think uh, A or C. A. Hey, excuse me. Hi. Are you using this chair? No. Oh, great. I just joined you then. Okay. How's it going? That's all right. How are you? Good. My name is Richard. Richard Burnup. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I help you? Well, that all depends. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, I just saw you reading and I thought I'd come and say hello because I have a few minutes before my friends come. So. Oh, okay. This is the right option. Um, it, it will work if you pull it off with you know, a bit of a smirk, playfulness. So if it suits your character, this will work as a way to start a conversation in the coffee shop. All right. Uh, find out about her. Use book as a way to show off. Say that her hair is kind of nice and transitions to invite her back to you. No. Uh, ask whether she come here often. Uh, find out more about her. I don't know. Uh, should we do... Yeah. Uh, find out more about her. Let's say... Let's say, do she come here often? You know, I like your hair. It's nice color oh. and long. Thank you. But just one thing. I think it would look really, really good if, if maybe you, you washed it and conditioned it and Excuse stuff. Excuse me. You know, like get some shampoo, some... Oh, some is it wash nice wash brand. your hair often? Mm -hmm. Shit. Use that in the morning. This is wrong. This is wrong. Lustrous. Well, that is a helpful tip. Like mine. I will. Lustrous. Yes, I will. Listen, it just so happens that I live quite nearby, and I've got this, um, what is it? You know, Aveda? Very nice shampoo. This is wrong. Okay, so that's... What, what did so I... So, how are you able to be free in the middle of the morning on a Thursday? Um, well, I do have a job, but it's, it's kind of from the laptop, from home, or, or from anywhere. But, um... Oh, so internet wait. Stuff and with America, so... Wait, did I, did I choose the answer, did you wash your hair often? Wait, did I really choose that one? I thought I was asking, did she come here often? So in Europe, I need to wait until they wake up and whatever, so right. I'm, I'm kind of free. And yeah. then can be working at home, lying in bed, mm -hmm. lying on the balcony, <laughs> generally lying down, working. <laughs> that's <laughs> so nice. That's cool. And how about you? How come you're not at work? Now? Well, I have, I'm a, I work at the university, so I have kind of an unusual schedule. I have some free time during the day and I work in the evenings. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Uh, guess what she te guess that she teaches sex ed. Say you didn't go to university and that's it's a waste of time. Find out whether she loves her job or doing it just because what? I think B. You teach at university. Yeah. Mm. You know, I I didn't go. Didn't go to university. I, I never liked school, and I thought it was just a, like a waste of time. University because 
think about it, you work for those three or four years and then you've got experience and you probably earn more, more money than the people that went to university. Yeah, it's true. And there's not really much point to it. So it's kind of a waste of time, isn't it, university? That's what I'm thinking of sometimes. I think there are quite a few, few people that agree with you. Yeah, generally. Generally, generally people agree with me. Most generally. Things, well, I don't yeah. know if I would say most people, but there are people who are good. successful without university. For sure. Yeah, but that's not saying you're, you know, it's pointless what you do or anything. It's, I'm oh. sure it's still. No, I'm, s I'm sure it's still good. Mm -hmm. It's cool. I think I think what I do is important. It's good that you think it's important. That's important for a job. Okay. No, really, I mean it because it's good that a lot I think of people that it's do. Important. It's good that you think that what you're doing is worthwhile because like so that many I'm people. Deluded. No, no, no. Like, um, no. If you believe it, then it comes true. Like the secret. So in that sense. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. Yeah. Although if done kind of playfully, it might be okay. It's probably not the best time to be um, insulting and teasing. So not the best option. Yeah. And what's your subject? What do you teach? American culture. Oh, American what, what does culture. That entail. So kind of a lot, quite a few different themes. For example. We kind of started with an overview of American values, which was really interesting. Like um, freedom and stuff, yeah? Things like that, and even more so, for example, an interesting one is how Americans relate to the future. Like it's something we feel like we can control in some sense. And like how to be American. The movie. Mm, I don't see how, I don't know what you mean. Okay, but Americans think that they're de they control their own destiny, yeah. kind of, yeah? Wait, uh, I want to talk about the things he said uh, of the college things because I don't think that college is really that important. It depends on what kind of job you want to do later in, work, in your life. Right now I'm going to college but I would like to work all day if I could. If I could gay, get good paid or something. Because I really think like college is like you are studying for a higher grade, higher higher chance to get a good job, good paid job in your life later. But also if like if I if I work all day from now just doing some normal job at maybe a supermarket, something like that. Working all day you could really have uh, earned more money than going to college but you uh what is it called you you didn't get paid as much as uh as you have a uh, college uh educations so that is why i'm going to college to get a job that get you better pay after it, after you're done with college. Uh, a. Ask what exactly that is. Suggest it about inventing donuts and burgers. Challenge her to explain why it is important. Make her feel good about her job. Challenge her to explain why it is important. Uh, B. Wait, American culture, isn't that kind of a contradiction in terms? Like, what are you teaching? Like, here we invented the hamburger in 1940 or something. Like. Well, there really isn't a question of whether or not we have culture. We certainly do. You can look back through history, and yes, maybe ours isn't as long, but yeah, to say that long. yeah, but to say that American culture doesn't exist is to argue that Western culture has really had no influence, even in Eastern Europe. Let's say. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm sure there's some stuff, but wouldn't it be better Everyone has their culture. Every like country has their own America cultures. Or technology, but some was invented like from like other like lands. For example, artists, like authors, like it doesn't even matter who the artists and authors are. What's important is that we have our own perspective on the world mm. and that in order to interact successfully with us, so if you're a business person, if you want to interact successfully ah. with an American business mm -hmm. person, you need to understand what their daily life looks like and kind of how they perceive the environment. Okay, cool. So it's mm -hmm. like when you're learning about business in China and you have to 
you know, give your business card with two hands. Quite literally, yes. All of that stuff. This is the same thing. Got it. Okay, so it's not really teaching about history and art and no. whatever else. Okay, nice one. Well, that's very useful because that's yeah. the American culture, like modern culture is what leads the world, right? We yeah. all kind of follow. If you can challenge someone, get them to prove themselves to you, and then approve of them, validate them, it has a powerful psychological effect. So it's the right option. Well done. I really enjoy my right, job, good. but there is this one little thing that's very frustrating for me. I've got this problem where I can't print all the copies that I need, and but I want my students to all have their own copy to take home, but then I have to go to the printer like every day, and it gets kind of expensive. So what do you think I should do? Wait. Say it must be annoying and tell her to ask a bigger printer. <laughs> Tell her that if she has a colleague, colleague, she doesn't like, she can ignore them. Be gentle and very because you don't listen. <laughs> be honest, you be honest, you and say you were distracted by girl. Say it must be annoying and tell her to ask a bigger. Tell her if she has a girl she doesn't like, she can ignore him. Um, well, look, I mean, we all have these problems at work, and mm -hmm. if, if you've got this uh, colleague that you don't like, then you can just ignore them or, I don't know, what? Deal, deal with it somehow. A colleague? Yeah, you had problems at work or something, right? About printing. Oh, oh well, all right. Okay. All right. I was wrong. I was wrong. Whoopsie. Looks like you got distracted. All right. Be honest. Um, look, to be honest, did you see that girl that just walked by? Mm -mm. <sighs> yeah, she's gone now, but she had like amazing long legs. Oh, this is wrong. Perfect. This is wrong. The lesson here is that there's one thing being honest. Uh, which is, you know, saying actually that girl distracted me and then there's another when you're going into all the detail and being kind of dirty Girls just aren't ready for that Yeah, I know uh, C um, Well, when you have a problem like this, it's important to uh, That's it. You should talk to your boss about the problem. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever it is yeah. Not important, but you know, talk to them in a way that shows that you're on their side, okay, and that you want the best for the department, and should be okay. Okay, that's pretty good advice. Was it okay? Oops, looks like you got a little bit distracted there, but you know, I understand why it happened. There was a very beautiful girl going by. So you got your teaching thing, and what else is important in your life? What else do you love to do? I really love dogs and I love to travel. Travel? Yeah. That's cool. Do you travel a lot? I've traveled quite a bit these last couple of years especially. Nice. And where are some places you've been? Uh, in Europe I've been in Prague, Russia, where is Prague? Ukraine, uh, Poland, wow, that's Lithuania, Latvia. Nice. So all of Eastern Europe and yeah. kind of former wow. USSR, yeah? Yes. Nice. And tell me, what's the absolute best place you've seen? Like, if people who have never traveled anywhere say, where's the best place that I should see? Where is it? I would actually say it, that you should go to the United States and go see the Grand Canyon. <laughs> it's amazing. America. I can't do it justice with words, but it's wonderful. Okay. Tell her about your experience in Great Canyon. Mm, say that you've never been that you've never been but would like to go say that sh it's boring there and they don't even have wi-fi <laughs> oh man you know i'm i'm going to my mom's place like and living there in two weeks because it's very close by where i have practice but <laughs> there's no wi-fi <laughs> it's going to be boring uh get her to elaborate elaborate on what she's particularly 
liked. Tell her your favorite trip was to Thailand and detail about the sexual experience you had there. Mm. But you would like to go, right? Uh, Grand Canyon, yeah, I've, I've never been there, but I'd like to go. Maybe, you know, go to, what's a good trip? Go to New York, go to LA, San Francisco, Vegas, and then it's somewhere near there, isn't it? So it's, it's, so it's over there, yeah. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere in that region. Mm -hmm. and then go down there, because hang out um, for what? What's good, like two days? Or I just think two a days. Day trip? You could do it in a day or two days would be better but one day you could do that yeah i always wanted to go since i saw superman 2 when they go down on the he goes on, down on the donkey because he's too scared to go on the flying things and then superman comes and they have their base in the grand canyon i thought it was when i was a kid it was good i, I always wanted it. to go <laughs> superman classic oh, okay. if it's got the grand canyon in it i wasn't a mm -hmm. big fan of superman this is coming back to you you know relating everything to yourself it's not the best answer oh, and it's, it's not, not necessary you can keep the conversation focused on her at this point i don't really know what i should do oh, should i think say that no oh <laughs> run out of things to say <laughs> ah shit she went out yeah what do you do what do you do i hate this i hate this when you like run out of things to say Hold eye contact and wait for her to speak. Break eye contact and look around the event while you think a thing to say. Say you hate. <laughs> uh, hold eye contact. Say you hate. I'm just gonna say it. You know, I hate awkward silences, but the good thing is that's only because we don't know each other too well, so we won't have any when we great friends right yeah hopefully yeah was it good this is not an absolute rule but in most cases it's correct so well done can you tell me some things you like to do for fun well since i as long as i can remember i've always loved playing volleyball so that's ah, something okay. i try to do whenever i can nice i mm -hmm. played it at school they had yeah. it in my school but since then i didn't but they play i go to barcelona a lot and they play on the beach mm -hmm. do you play beach volleyball i will yeah oh, very in a nice. pinch are you very good yeah you can do that where you jump and hit it, smash sure. it down. And cool. Yeah. That's nice. I cannot do it. on the beach because the nets are higher. Surf. I cannot surf uh, Very cool. this yeah, high. Cool I just, I just else you do? hold the ball. Yeah, I probably and I surf the thing from I do the most down. is study Russian. Like for hobbies. For Russian for hobbies. Tell her it's stupid and rubbish and idiots. Uh compliment of choosing tough language to t to learn. Tell you fell right B Russian? Yeah. Ah. You know I meet loads of people that speak what French, English, obviously oh. Spanish, German. Mm -hmm. But Russian, it's really rare to, to meet someone who speaks Russian. It's yeah. pretty cool. How come you chose yeah. that? I don't really have a good reason. When I was in high school oh, I did a oh I shit. had the opportunity to do a study abroad and my choices were France and Russia and I didn't want to go to France. So I went to Russia, and then I just never quit. Mm -hmm. I actually like that you chose something tough, mm -hmm. and that you stuck with mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And you know, like I said, most people take the easy options all the time. So it's interesting and cool that you did that. Thank you. Thank you, nice Ready one. Much. You know, when a girl has something that is a real talent, something that she should be proud of, something she's worked hard on, that's the kind of thing you don't want to tease her too much on. So you know, say well done, say you respect that, and say why. And then go deeper into it because you know you need to find out why she would do that why she was interested what would make her spend the time on it and it's going to lead to interesting conversation make her feel good as well i noticed you have an accent do you mind if i ask where you're from i'm oh, from england, england. whereabouts um was born in london but actually you know what when i was when i was young i, I lived in south london and they have a strong accent there it's like south south london and things like this but um, because I've traveled a lot and I moved, I've lost most of my accent. But do I still sound British? Do you? Yes, very much. That's good. You like my British accent, don't you? Tell her about girls go crazy about your British accent and you get no. Uh, talked about how foreign parent English people and asked how people react to her as an American. Right. 
Do you like the English accent? Yeah. Yeah, most people like it. They say it's kind of sexy, but maybe that's just when I speak it. But <laughs> <laughs> it's quite interesting actually being English because in some places like America, we have a very good reputation. Mm -hmm. And then some places like Spain, where all the English people go and kind of party and like the <laughs> hooligans go drinking and stuff. So mm -hmm. their reputation is quite, quite bad. But oh how yeah, do you I find it being an American and traveling? Uh, it depends on where you're at, but I guess generally people have kind of negative stereotypes about the United States and Americans. Really? But I don't know. It seems that a lot of people are willing to take you and judge you individually and not. That's good, put right? On a bunch of oh, yeah. We're lucky. Uh, we don't have any real uh, racism or anything really. Yeah, bad that's true. That's almost anywhere we go, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. This is the right choice, and it's always interesting to talk about cultural differences, so it can lead to some nice conversation. Uh, say you like her and want to see her again, ask for a number. Say you think she is incredible beautiful and that you want to take her on a date. Ask she what she like to do on us. Why, this one is hard. I think it's C, but I want to go with B. Well, listen, I hope you don't find it forward of me, but I just think you're stunning and I want to take you on a very romantic date. Dinner, candles, the whole works. Well, That's it's too really quick. Sweet, well, but it's too unfortunately, quick. Unfortunately, I actually am kind of seeing someone. All right, it was too uh, quick. Room, uh, is it very serious? You're going to get married? It's pretty serious. <laughs> Maybe room for a, a little, you know, trial date. And if it goes well, you can. No, 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 being. No, I don't think so. Kitchen. You're being I'm so. I'm pretty serious about him. Okay, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, as, as they say. Um, it's great to meet you, and I'll, I'll go, go and cry. No, I mean, I'll, I'll go through. No, it was okay. All right, see ya. All right, Bye. it was too early. Yeah. It's too early to make that kind of move. That's why that didn't work. Yeah, like I said. Uh, just ask what she likes to do. What do you like to do in, I don't know, for fun, like in the evening? Because you study Russian and whatever, but do you drink, dance? Anything else? All of the above, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. At the same time? <laughs> when the mood strikes, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I like going out sometimes, cocktail bars, different bars. Do you smoke shisha? Uh, hookah. Yeah, hookah you call it in America, right? Yeah, I have from time to time. I'm not a, a huge fan, but... I quite like it. They say yeah. it's really unhealthy, but... It I seems unhealthy. Once a month. But you don't cough after it, so that's all. Let me get some cookie. Yeah. So we need to I'm do hungry. it sometime, like shisha. Uh, um, cocktails and then dancing. Oh, maybe. When you want to transition to seeing someone again, it's very good to build up a picture of the kind of things that they do, the way they spend their time, because you might find a mutual connection. You find that you share some activities or that you do some things that she wants to do, she does some things that you'd like to try, and then it makes it very easy to then go on and suggest the date from there and take the number. And do you have any other outdoor, like, active stuff you like to do? You yeah. Volleyball, but anything else? Yeah, I grew up in, in the country, so I really enjoy a lot of nature activities. I like hiking I think this and one's I love boring. Fishing. Fishing. fishing, yeah. This yeah. coffee like fishing. date pickup yeah. thing oh, is boring. Yes. That's interesting. I've never, never done fishing, but I love the outside as well, you mm -hmm. know, walking in uh, parks or, yeah, mm -hmm. hiking if you've got somewhere like that. How about bi bicycle? I like that too. Yeah. Well, that's something else we oh, can do. Oh, you see the mic? Like, take the mic on his chest. Ride out somewhere. Yeah. It's strange. That's like, just nice. going out oh. with Mike in his chest. Ask a plan for the coming week. Touch her face. Touch her face is strange. Uh, ask what kind of man she likes. Uh, run the cube routine. It's either D or A. Let's do A. And are you busy this week? Like what are your plans for the next few days? I'm pretty busy. I have a, a my friend is having a party tomorrow, and then this weekend I'm gonna take a train up to Vilnius. Mm hmm. So, pretty busy. You have free time, no? Maybe. Which Maybe day? on Sunday. Sunday, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. I might be free on Sunday as well. Okay. 
That's exactly right. Now think about this. Have you ever texted a girl saying, hey, can you meet tomorrow? She's like, oh, I'm not in town. And you say, OK, and then text her in a few days. Hey, can you meet tonight? Are you around? Sorry, I've already got plans. Well, to avoid this kind of dumb situation when you end up not seeing her again, why not find out at the time of meeting her what her plans are for the coming week? It's very easy to find out in person and saves the need for sending loads of dumb text messages that get you rejected. So it's the correct choice. Yeah, I've done those. Sometimes, we just ended up me looking too needy because I was asking day one, and the girl says, "Oh, couldn't," and then I said, "Then I waited a couple of days and I asked again," and she say, "Oh no, she got other things to do." So. Don't send test messages and ask, can you meet, would you want to meet this day, this day? No, just ask, what's your plan for the weekend? This is a good thing to do. Instead of asking, want to meet today? Can you meet tomorrow? This, was, this will not work. A suggest meeting for a drink and check her number. Say you have a few minutes, few spare minutes, invited to make, no. Mm. Suggest her go hiking to get it sometimes. Take her number and say you'll be in touch uh, for a drink. Um, it's either A or C, but which one? Um, uh, hiking maybe? C. So you like um, hiking and outdoor stuff, and mm -hmm. the weather's pretty good at the moment. So one day we could take a little trip. Or, I don't know, meet in the evening. Anyway, lots of stuff. We've got lots of stuff we could do together. So, why don't you give me your number and we'll, sure. we'll arrange something. Was this the right move? I'm not sure. Maybe. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Exactly she right. She seems it boring. very smoothly to find something that you both like and then suggest doing that as the reason to see each other again. It's way better than just saying, hey, give me your number or, hey, let's go for dinner tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, say goodbye, be warm, and say how nice it was to meet her. Be quite coldly say goodbye and that you'll be in touch. Give her a long, linger handshake. Uh, goodbye, huge. Uh, then go for a kiss. No kiss. Do not kiss. Uh, say goodbye. I think well, A is look, good. I should be heading off, but it was it was great meeting you. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Really, really happy to meet you. And yeah, see you. Bye. Bye. Ah, oh, it's wrong. Oops. You know, got right to the end, but this is a little bit too much. Um, being warm at this point, totally unnecessary. And if anything, makes you look like a little bit of a wussy, and might make her change her mind about seeing you again. Ah. So which one is the right one? This is the right oh, option. Shit. Um, it will work got if you pull it off with three a bit of a smirk, wrong choice. One, two, so three, four, five. This will work five. as a way to start a